<gasps> so Ian, why is it the screen will suddenly freeze? I find it very frustrating. So um, what's going on? So thermal imagers require calibration. Um, so for example, as you've just said, if you're scanning across a field, the device will then freeze. What the device is doing is it's putting a shutter, or as we've seen a wee bit more now in newer products, there's no shutter there. But what it'll do is it gives the the sensor a blank canvas to work off of. So it's similar to closing the lens cap and it just gives it a, a generic heat source to calibrate against. That shutter or lens cap or whatever system it's using will then move out of the way. So the thermal is then picking up the, new, the heat sources in the field for the first time again. So it's giving you more image detail. It's also making sure that um, anything that may have been in front of the lens that's then getting picked up that's no longer there is also missed. So it's just making sure you're getting the best image quality for a longer period of time. Um, obviously calibration motors do operate quite a lot when you're out foxing obviously for a long period of time. So a lot of the products now such as the Pulsars, especially the Helions, they've changed the body designs to integrate a heat sink system so it tries to draw out as much heat as possible so you get better image quality for longer. So hold on, the calibration, so when I was talking to Paul earlier, mm -hmm. he was saying that even standing next to somebody, the heat, temp the heat difference is different to when you're not standing next to somebody. So mm -hmm. the unit is working out the best setting for that temperature, is that right? That's correct. What you'll find a lot of the time is when you're first turning the device on or if you're going from the, your, the cab of your vehicle outside, if it's middle of winter, you'll see that the device is making a lot of clicking noises, the image is refreshing a lot, and it's so the device can get used to the temperature that you're going to be operating in. So if you've been in a, a a Land Rover cab and you've been sitting at a nice 20 degrees and you come outside and it's 2 degrees, your, your device is going to try and figure out how it can then move from 20 degrees to 2 degrees without distorting the image much and that's why the calibration uh, function operates. Um, very similar to if you're standing next to somebody shooting, they will the device will pick up their heat in its peripheral vision um, and then once you're away from them it will calibrate again so, so it's making the image a lot better for you. Okay, so I shouldn't get frustrated by it. It's just basically trying to make the image as good as it possibly can. Yes, that, that's exactly it. I mean, the manufacturers such as Pulsar, Infrared, everybody like that, they put systems inside so you can change how the device will calibrate. But we always tend to recommend customers to keep it on automatic because if it does stop calibrating for whatever reason, it's the device that's doing it. It's not that you've forgotten to press a button or close a lens cap or anything like that. <gasps>